May I say how very grateful indeed Mrs. Douglas, my daughter Sharman, and I are for the unfailing kindness and courtesy that has been, have been so continuously extended to us in Britain. Mrs. Douglas and Sharman have been far more effective representatives of my country than have I. Their roots have penetrated deep into the life of this island, and so have mine. We leave not because it is our choice, but because we must. May I say how very grateful indeed Mrs. Douglas, my daughter Sharman, and I are for the unfailing courtesy and kindness that have been displayed toward us in Britain. Mrs. Douglas and Sharman have been far better representatives of my country than have I. Their roots have penetrated deep into the life of this island and so have mine. We leave not because it is our choice, but because we must. You have asked me to comment on the changes in the economic status of Britain during my stay here. I landed toward the end of a very bitter winter that had almost paralyzed the economic life of Britain. Since that time, substantial economic improvement has been had. A part of it is due to conscious acts. A part of it is due to the fortuitous course of events. And there still remain some fundamental problems that must be resolved, lest when the present boom slackens, as someday it will, Britain face again renewed difficulties. Very good, sir. It has long been my view that the North Atlantic community, including Western Europe, must regain its political, economic, and military strength and that through a combination of strength and understanding, we will be able eventually to create conditions under which the East and the West can live peacefully together. The United States and the members of the British Commonwealth of Nations all belong to international organizations. They give these organizations uh, their common support. But this common membership should not permit us to forget that the United States and the British Commonwealth, all of its members, must be in harmony on the great fundamental issues. This adds strength to the United Nations, not weakness. Right, sir. It is on the United Nations and the institutions that have been established under the provisions of its charter such, for example, as the North Atlantic Treaty and the organization which its provisions provide for, that we must all lean so heavily in the future. The foundations of the strength of uh, these organizations rest upon a harmony between the United States and the British Commonwealth of Nations and a rapprochement between Germany and France. Right, 
we take our leave with very real sorrow. But we look forward with anticipation to returning to meet our many friends here and to a lovely island that has been so kind to us. We take our leave with very real sorrow, but we look forward to returning often to our many friends here and to a lovely country that has been so kind to us. <laughs>